Okay, so I want to talk about, real quick, some of the new updates we've been getting for Doctor Who, uh, Series 9, more or less. So, we do know that the first episode of Series 9 will be called The Magician's Apprentice, and the new, the more news we've been getting, well, the new news, I guess you could say, is that we've been getting a lot of interesting new re revelations that I kind of wish we were... I feel like they're spoilers, really, when you think about it. I feel like they're kind of spoiling a lot when they talk about these new updates and whatnot. I just feel like, yeah, you, why didn't you save this for the episode? Now I'm not really surprised. First and foremost, we're getting the return of, apparently... We're getting the return of Michelle Gomez, who is returning as the Master slash Mistress slash Missy, which I think is really cool. I don't think we got to see en we got to see enough of her. Well, we didn't get to see enough of her, but I did what we did see of her as the Master. I thought was really good. I thought she was pretty good. She ver she gave off a very Anthony Ainley type performance, and I know my good friend Joey West. He's not. Uh, uh, I know he's kind of tired of the whole Anthony Ainley performance because that's what the mass type of master we've been getting for a while since Ainley. I kind of would like a master to go back. You know, a version of the master to go back and you know go back to the whole. Uh, Delgado era, or jo or Jeffrey Beaver's era of the Master, which is a very dark, very intimidating Master. That's the type of Master we're getting in the new Paul McGann series of Dark Eyes, and I think it's a completely new actor playing the Master, which I'm kind of cool with, because you could do anything there. Um, so I do like it. I do like that, you know, she's coming back, you know, she's repraising her role as the Master, but again, I really do feel like maybe you shouldn't have spoiled that, because now I won't be... Now I won't be as hyped when she come when she comes back. Then later on, apparently, the more news that is coming out is that she's go uh, as the master. She's going to be the new uh, companion. Yeah, the master and the doctor are now going to be the com are now going to be you know traveling together. Now, on one hand, I think this is really cool because now you've got that whole dichotomy of you know your greatest enemy who was once your former friend now traveling with you and the doctor even once said we're the only ones left um a long a while ago back when you know the tenant and sim rivalry they were the only ones left they were all that remained of the species and technically still even though gallifrey has returned we just don't know where it is uh they're the only ones left and the master no uh, claims to know where it is either that or she's just screwing with him again which she did the last time so that'll be that'll be pretty interesting, and it also kind is almost reminiscent of the Doctor traveling with Romana, you know, Doctor traveling around with a female Time Lord. That might be fun again, and someone who's equally as smart as the Doctor traveling around with him. Yeah, I'm t I'm down for that. I would be down for you know that, but still, it just feels like, man, you couldn't. Why did you spoil that? Why did you spoil that, guys? Now I'm not. So eh, I don't know. On the one hand, I'm excited, but on the other hand, I'm like, this feels a little too fan fiction-y, but I want to give it benefit of the doubt, because we haven't seen the episode yet, so I don't know what to... Uh, I can't really give official thoughts other than, it could be cool. That's all I'm going to say. It could be really cool. And by the looks of things, of having the Master on... with traveling with the Doctor and the TARDIS, it kind of makes me wonder, is that, are, now we go, are we now going to focus on the search for Gallifrey? Is that going to be the big thing now? Are we going to officially start going to look for Gallifrey? I hope so, because that was I thought that was going to be the big thing in, in Series 8, but no, it's more like this whole very big plan for the, from the Master, which was like, oh, that was convoluted and it was evil at the same time. That works for the Master. <laughs> so... Yeah, very interested to see how that's going to play out in the end, how that is all going to play out. Um, again, this again, this seems like it's going to, you know, by the looks of things, it might be the whole, Series 9 might be the whole, uh, you know, search for Gallifrey and possibly the return of the Time Lords. That'll be fun. Um, and this also may be Moffat's last season, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people, including myself, will be like, okay, good. Moffat, you've done some good stuff, and you've actually written some good material in this in the in the past season. I love Time Heist. Uh, the first episode introducing Capaldi was it was a little hit and miss, but I still liked it. And you know, Death in Heaven, and actually no, Death in Heaven and that two parter just kind of fell apart the more I watched it. But 
Capaldi and the Master, you know, Capaldi and Gomez were really good. Everything else around that kind of sucked. Although the whole master plan and being what it what what it really was, being a birthday present to the Doctor, was almost like killing joke level ba evil. So I gotta give credit uh, to that. Other than that, there are a lot of other plot holes and mess ups that I just didn't care for. But Moffat, you did a lot better. You did a lot better than you have in the past few seasons. But I think it's time to after this season, I think it's time to look for somebody else. Chris Chibnall? Can we get Chris Chibnall? Can we get Toby Whitehouse? I know, I'm pretty sure, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, Gatiss would be a good pick, but I think Gatiss would be a lot, is a way too busy to do this or something like that. I would, like I said, Toby Whitehouse, Chris Chibnall, uh, someone like that, someone like those people. Chris Chibnall, I think, actually that I think about it, I, mean, I, I hate to say, but Chris Chibnall may be too busy to do that, because now he's, he's, uh, working on Broadchurch, but who knows, maybe since Broadchurch, this season's ended, uh, maybe they'll, you know, maybe he'll he'll do both shows. I mean, hell, Mo now that I think about Moffat worked with, uh, you know, Moffat worked on both Sherlock and Doctor Who, so I don't see why he can't do both shows. Although then again, he had Gatiss helping him on that one, on uh, Sherlock. Anyway, so I just wanted to get out here talk about those those little things here and there. So you guys tell me, what did you what do you guys think of the more of the news coming out for Doctor Who series 9? Are you guys excited? Are you guys kind of worried about it? Uh, what do you think of the master being possibly a new companion for the doctor to travel around with? And what villains do you want to see come back that haven't been shown yet? Anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this and I will see you guys later.